Today's job is the water pump. Doesn't seem to be working. Um, we turn the power on. And it just continually runs. Pressure doesn't build up. I've done a few checks and it definitely seems that the problem is with the pump. So I'm going to replace the pump and hopefully that will sort the problem. And at the same time, I'm going to fit an inline filter. To start with, I'm going to get the Jubilee clip undone, make sure the water comes out of that side, and then uh, get that nut undone. That's the pump all undone, and uh, now I'm just going to work out how to attach this to there. I've, um, I did try to see what thread this is, and I don't think it matches that, and also it won't fit all the way in there anyway. I've read the instructions first for a bloke. Um, and it does say to connect it with flexible hoses on both sides. So, obviously we've got these. So that's that bit sorted. And I've got a pump. That's sorry, a filter. So I want to add in line as well. So I think that's all right going straight on there. And then we'll add the flexible hose this side, which will be this one. So that's fair enough. So I need to be able to connect a flexible hose from this onto there. Now, I had a play with some things in the workshop to find the right thread and connections and things, and I'll show you what I've come up with. So the plan is, water tank, the existing hose, jubilee clip onto the filter, which joins straight onto the pump. And then from the pump, I'm going to attach a hose with tubi clips and then I've made this that's water quality hose strengthened and when I warmed it up in a mug of water I can get it on this far so as it's going to be on the pressurized side I'm going to add two jubilee clips to this I'm going to use a longer bit of hose. This was just a mock-up to see if it all fit together. And uh, yeah, so that'll go that way. So from the pump, this hose joined on with the Jubilee clip. Then this side is going into this, which is basically a stop tap type. Can't remember the exact word for it. That fits that pipe. And this side, I've checked, fits onto the accumulator nut. So hopefully that'll all slide in together and I can do all that up. And job's a good one. I've just uh, got the kettle on. And I'm going to have a mug full of water and I've got some longer hose that I'm going to use. So I'll go and connect this all up and see how it goes. So the, uh, the end of the pipe was a little bit too far away to be able to connect up. So I've used my cutter to cut the end off. So I've removed those. I'm going to put those on and then I'm going to be putting that on, which I've already heated the pipe up and attached it. Uh, it's a massive length of pipe. It says uh, on the instructions about I think it's 12 inches so I'll measure 12 inches out and see if um, there's enough room to fit everything in so we're all connected up there and I'm just going to trim the pipe okay we're all connected up and I'm just going to turn the pump on and test it That's it, nice and quiet. Okay, next job. Let's turn the water on. Let's see if we've got any leaks. 
Um, I'll just wipe up a bit around there just so I can see if anything's obvious. Okay, I've popped a few screws in, had a bit of a dry up, and one last check over. Obviously, once it's working, I'll tuck this away somewhere. I might put a bit of connection on that because I'm not over keen on it. And uh, let's turn the water on. I think we'll have a new bend. Cut them off there. Maybe push fit. Cut them off there. Have them disconnect there. Cut off valve there. Two bends. Push fit onto them. So I want some memory cloth to clean those up. Pipes. the pipe so I've got to fix all this now I had to undo everything so I could get at everything um, I'm not going to turn the shower on because there's still no gulper connected uh, I'm going to have to that off just to make sure there's no pipes disconnected underneath there. Don't really want to fill the build with shower water. Um, I think we're all set there. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any leaks. Uh, I did have to reconnect one tap that had been left disconnected for some reason. Um, no harm done, I worked on that pretty quick. And uh, all good. Should she be pressurized? <laughs> pressurise and see if there's any little clicks that indicate a little leak anywhere and just check everything over and uh, run the engine for a bit to warm the water up see if that's all okay. So the engine was running for a little while, actually got covered up doing other jobs um, but I'm pretty sure it's warm now. to wash my hands properly. Much better. So we have warm water, not hot yet, but I didn't run the engine that long. Uh, it's definitely cold. So, that's all working. I just need to get a gulper sorted and water system done. Thanks for watching.